Hi creators, today I'm going to cover the shape transitions built into DaVinci Resolve 15. I'm also going to show you how to set those up for your video clips for great transitions. I'm going to show you how to customize the shape transitions and save them so you can save some time on your projects. So let's get started. So for the DaVinci Resolve shape transitions, I don't use these every day, but I do have some clients that request them occasionally. I also can find some creative uses for them, so it's great to know where they're located and how to use them. And so I just have a couple of clips set up here, and you can see that they're overlapped a little bit, and that's going to come in handy as I start to show you how to use these. So these are the shape transitions, and to see these, you're going to need to go to the effects library, and under the toolbox, select video transitions, scroll down to shape transitions. And we have, basically we have six different built in shape transitions and we can customize these and save our own versions of them. But let's get started on going through these. So the barn door is basically, I'll preview that for you. It's just gonna slide back the different clips and we need to make sure we have something underneath uh, this transition piece so make sure whatever you have click click your settings here of the transition and make sure the inspector panel is open and under this we have a one second transition if I want to move that up to two seconds we need to just make sure our clip is underneath that full two seconds to look at this transition. And so you can see now it's gonna be a little bit slower transition. If you wanna make some adjustments on the actual look of this transition, uh, we can set a border up for it. We can set the border color up if you like to. And we can feather that. Um, this would take away the color though. And we can set an easing here and change our curves. And this is barn door vertical, barn door horizontal. And so we can set the, the border width, whatever we want it to be. And so now when we go through, it's gonna have that little bit of an edge there. I can get rid of the edge. I can put a feather in as well if I wanna have that little bit of blur on the edge. That's a little bit different look. And so I can change that blur as much as I want and I'll get into the curves and the easing, easing here in a little bit. But what we want to do is if we want to change this transition from barn door, we can select the other options up here or you can drag and drop them right onto the timeline to just go through the different types here. And so that one is the box. We also have a heart. We have a star. We have a triangle left. This will be kind of your angular. And then a triangle right for the opposite here. Okay, so like I said, we can change all of these options here in each of these transition styles. So that's pretty easy to do. I'm gonna go back to the box here for now. And so under the box, we have some a lot of different modes under the box. We, we have a center upper left, upper right. We can position this in a lot of different locations. This is the box coming in from the upper right and it'll transition down for the whole video here. And so if we like this transition, oh, one more thing I wanna show you first. Uh, we, we can see this diamond here in the corner of the actual transition. Go ahead and click on that and we're gonna get a new box that opens up here. And to see it, we're gonna zoom in a little bit. This has some key points that, that are in place that are set by the actual transition. And so this right here is the curve of the actual transition. You can see it's a linear curve at this point. And so say I want to add some different points on here. I'm gonna select the Alt key and press a new point there. I'm gonna change it to a curve point here. And so now I can move this if I want to get a lot of that transition early in the movement and then it'll kind of slow down I can grab these handles let's take a look at that now so then it kind of slows down at the end so that gives you some creativity to change the transitions the way that you want them 
based on what's in your scene. So if we want to start getting these guys walking down the hill early on in the shot, we kind of hang on there so the viewer knows that the location is this mountain range. That's a good way to do it. And so this is obviously, if I go to this point here, this gives me two handles to adjust. And so you can just grab and drag these different handles any way you want them. And so this is kind of weird because it's going to go in, then out, then in. I don't really, wouldn't probably really do that, but it is possible. And then, so this one is just going to give you that front handle on the, on the front side. So if you really want to be quick at the beginning and then kind of more of a linear movement, you can do it that way. So we can add as many points as we want. Again, hold down the alt key and press in the timeline box here. I can add in 50 of them if I want to, that would be a little overkill, but we also get the, the actual timeline points up here that can be slid around. So you can change that position if you'd like, if you're not happy with it, instead of deleting it and placing a new one, just slide it around. And so hopefully those will give you, oh yeah, if you're on a timeline point here, you can click this as well, and that will add a timeline point in there for you as well. That gives you some precision to be able to work with there. To close this curve, you just click the box again, and that will close it. And so, but it does kind of stay here within your, your clip here in the timeline view. So you know that there is some curve data in there for you to work with. And if you want to save that transition, I'm going to right click on this actual box and say, create transition preset. And I'm going to call it box. Call it whatever you want, hit okay. And then if you slide down here to the bottom, there'll be a user section for save presets. And you can see that this box upper right curve is set for me. So if I delete this one out, I don't have a transition now. So I could grab this transition now and put it down on top of my clip. And so we can replicate that in as many locations as we want throughout our project. So that makes it really easy to save some time once you get some transitions that you really like. Uh, go ahead and save those so you don't have to keep remaking them every time you want to place one into your project. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys to understand how to use the actual shape transitions and actually the power that they have. Um, they're kind of overlooked, but there are a lot of things that you guys can do with these things in your projects and customize them, save them, and make really great use of them for really nice transitions to make your projects look professional and customized. So if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Tell us if you like it in the comments. Ask questions in the comments. I'll take a look at those and try to answer them for you. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys.